I would have to say that The Barber of Seville is probably the most interesting opera buffa ever written. It's a very funny, absolutely brilliant ensemble, so beautiful bel canto writing. It's set to music in, in a wonderful way. And, you know, I love the way Rossini builds up his finales, how he builds up to the point where people lose absolute control and they start singing a patter in a prestissimo tempo. And he does it more successfully than any other composer I know. You know, it's got some of the fastest writing in, in the entire operatic literature. In fact, I worked on this opera with Alberto Zedda, who was the man who made this particular edition based on years of musicological research. And when I talked to him about the fact that the finale, at the end of the first act finale, moves so fast that it's impossible to sing all the notes unless you take it slowly, he said, don't take it slowly. Take it fast and let the singers leave out certain notes, just so you have the whole spirit of the, of, of, of the finale. Well, it's very hard to verbalize why a, a, a tune is become so popular. It's because it somehow either moves people or excites people or it has something catchy. You know, in the case of Rossini, like in the Figaro aria, it's too fast for anybody who enjoys it to be able to, to reproduce themselves. It's too fast to sing. But it has an incredible drive and, and accessibility at the same time. People can relate to it very easily. You know, I have certain strong ideas of how certain arias should be interpreted. I think it's great to have discussions about interpretation. Michael, he has a modern take on the opera, and I learned it with the very old famous singers and, and, people, and conductors who had a very traditional way of looking at the Barbara of Seville. We really tried to find a real synergy between what's happening in the pit and what's happening on stage. I mean, that's what makes really good opera. It's unfortunate that classical music and opera have taken a long time to be adopted within our popular culture. But I think that what the Atlanta Opera is doing and other companies are doing to make it more relevant to present day audiences, also by adjusting stagings to be relevant to the present time, I think it's doing a good service for their art form. <laughs>